Yes. The second thing is, Barakallah, the conditions of zakat. Right? The condition of zakat. Because every worship you do, you have condition. Every action that we do, we have condition. Tayyip. So, the condition of the zakat, as the ulama they mentioned, and some make it four conditions, some make it two, but we will make it four and make it easy, inshallah, for all of us to understand. Or we will say four, not to make it. We will say four, so it will be easy, inshallah, for us to, to, to get it easy, inshallah. The first one being, which is the condition of every single action in Al Islam, for the person to be Muslim, awwalan. The person to be Muslim. Second, that he has to be free. He cannot be a, a slave. Because a slave is what? He's a property of somebody. Right? So he got to be a Muslim. Now being male and female, it doesn't matter. Being sane or unsane, it doesn't matter. Being young or old, doesn't matter. Why? Because here it is dealing with the issue of al-mal, wealth. It's not dealing with the individual as far as, let's say, the salah. The salah, it is dealing with the individual himself. But amma the zakat, it is dealing with the issue of al-mal, the wealth. So therefore, first is that he has to be Muslim. Second, that he has to be hur. He has to be, have hurriya. Al-hurriya, he has to be what? Free. He cannot be a, a slave. Because a slave is a property of someone. Number three is that the wealth has to reach what is called an nisab. It has to reach an nisab. And an nisab, barakallahu fikum, as you have, let's say, in gold, that it has to reach at least, meaning the minimum that the individual had, it has to be, barakallahu fikum, 85 grams of gold. Or about 595 grams of silver. If the individual, he has this. And the fourth one, tayyip, the nisab meaning that he has to have it for a whole year. Tayyip, he has to have at least 85 grams of gold a whole year. Not 80 or 81 or stuff or 79, but rather 85 or more a whole year. Tayyip. Or 595 grams of silver a whole year. And the fourth one is what is called a tamlik. A tamlik. Meaning the individual has to be in possession of the wealth. He has to be in possession of the wealth. Yes. I was going to say not consuming it during the year. Having it and not consuming it. Not necessarily. Let's say you have, for instance, let's say you have, let's say you have 100 grams of gold, for instance. Right? But it's, it's be, you've been, you know, sometimes you'll go, you know, buy you, uh, you know, some wings, or you're gonna go buy you a uh, whatever a scooter, or you, you know. But the money, at least, at least, it has to be 85, minimum 85 there. You understand? But if it's not, it's under uh, 85, then this is not what they call misad no more, right? So therefore, that 85 grams of gold has to be at least for a whole year. Toyib. And the fourth one is what is called a tamlik, meaning the individual has to have possession of the wealth. For instance, I got a hundred grams of gold, right? And you come and, uh, and you know, you borrow 85, gra 85 grams of gold for us, or you borrow maybe like 50 grams of gold. Yes, technically I have a hundred grams of gold, but am I in possession of it? No, I'm not. So therefore, even though technically I, I have a hundred grams of gold, but I don't have it, I need buy it my possession. I only have with me you know, 50, 50 grams of gold. So, in that regard, the individual is not, but as Imam Mahan mentioned, in, in this regard, the individual is not to be paying the zakat. Except, except, except that the person that borrows it from you tells you, anytime you need it, I'll give it to you. Knock at my door at 2 o'clock in the morning, I will give it to you. Anytime you want it, I'll give it to you. This is what they call a debt debt. A debt debt, meaning that any time that the individual want, you want to, that you knock at his door at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, at any time during the day, any time during the year, he, can, he will give you your, your wealth. In that regard, Barakallahu Fikum, when the person he gives the zakat, he will count that money. Because it is as if he has it. But if the brother, he says, look, Akhi, let me borrow, you know, 100,000, and then, you know, maybe for two years. 
right? Now you ground to zero. You don't have. You gave him all your savings. So you, if the individual is zakat time, for instance, he's not gonna say, well, I, you know, the brother bought a hundred thousand dollars from me. So I gotta calculate that. No, because you don't have a tamli. You don't own that. You don't have that in your hands. Zakat but Amma in regard to the, the animals, the animals, and this is a different, this is a barakallah fikum because there is a long list of how many sheep. If you have this amount, let's say you have 40 sheep, how many? If you have 102 sheep, so it's a long list, then mainly what we deal with is a naqd, a naqd, you know, cash money. It's mainly what we deal with. But if anyone is interested in those, inshallah, we can cover it bi ta'ala or give you the reference, inshallah ta'ala, from the books of the ulama. So the second thing, Barakallah Fikum, was in regard to who is entitled to receive the, the zakat. Who is entitled to receive the zakat? So if as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Tawbah, and these, in the, these people that are, yani the ones that are uh, entitled to receive the zakat, these people that are entitled to receive the zakat. Allah Jalla wa ala mentioned in Surah Tawbah, verse number 60. Allah say in Surah Tawbah verse number 60 He say Innama sadaqatu lil fuqara'i Number 1 Al fuqara Wal masakin The number 2 is the masakin Tayyip That the fuqara Are those who are needy Tayyip Those who are needy The fuqara Those who are needy And al masakin Are those who are poor طيب. الفقراء that they have at least something at least they have something maybe they can come up with the whole year of rent but at least maybe they have 10 months of rent or they have maybe 9 months of rent so the other 2 or 3 whatever they are going to struggle with it right so this is something else right so he mentioned here that the first one is the الفقراء the second one is the masakin. And the masakin, they are those who are poor, don't have nothing. Tayyip. And they mention, and after that, وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلَيْهَا And those who are employed in collecting the zakat. Those who are employed in collecting the zakat. وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلَيْهَا Those who are employed in collecting the zakat. And they mention, وَالْمُؤَلَّفَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ And those who are Yani, we want to attract their hearts to Al-Islam. Those who will attract their hearts to Al-Islam. And this is why, Barakallah, if you find, from, yani, what is the custom in, 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 in the Muslim world, in the Muslim land, when a person accepts Islam, the people will be yani, giving him donation and the like. Right? They give him donation and the like. But this is not, Barakallah, if you based on, on this. Like, because here we're talking about as zakat so those who barakallah fikum, those we want to attract their hearts. And like me, those who are inclining towards that Islam. And knowing that if we give them, that they will be barakallah fikum, what? They will accept Islam. If we give them, they will accept Islam. So he mentioned barakallah fikum, as Allah jalla ala, he mentioned, wafir riqab. And those who barakallah fikum, they are capt captive. And they want to barakallah fikum, earn their, their freedom. So therefore, these awafi sabilillah. And those who are in the path of Allah, وَبْنِ sabil, And those who are in the cause of Allah. Those who are yani, in, the, in the path of Allah, وَبْنِ sabil, Meaning those who, barakallah fikum, they are travelers. So you have, barakallah fikum, those who, yani, they are uh, from those who, their hearts incline to Islam. And those who, they are from the, yani, the captives. And likewise, those who, barakallah fikum, they are in debt. They have, they owe people money, for instance. طيب وفي الرقاب those who are يعني they owe money and the like and likewise those who are in في سبيل الله those who are في سبيل الله this guy don't have no manner man subhanallah عظيم tell him tell, no tell him you don't have no manner man how you gonna be in a class and you talk subhanallah عظيم yeah that's why she left it's okay I didn't say it, he said it. He said she left. That's why she left. Don't have no manners, man. SubhanAllah. 
When people are away from knowledge, this is how they act. Subhanallah al -Azim. Talking like you are at the, at the stadium or something. So these are barakallah from the eight people that are qualified for yani, receiving the zakat. In Surah so Tawbah verse number 60. <laughs> Shay Rabbi Imam Ahmed he said, Wadaf us sadaqat ilayhim jaiza tun nafidatun man dafa'aha ilayhim for those who have the same print right here. Tayyip, for those who have the same print, it is ilayhim. It is ilayhim. Man dafa'aha ilayhim. Right, ilayhim. Ilayhim. Yeah. For those who have the same print. I don't know about the other print. You see that? Ilayhim, yeah. For mine it, it has a mistake on the print. It is same ilayhim. Khalas ahsantum. Abshiru. He say, Ajza'at anhu. But whoever barakallahu fikum yani, give them the zakat, give the zakat to the ruler, then it is sufficient for them, and they will be rewarded. So he mentioned here, wa fi madhab imam Ahmed rahimahullah. He say, in the madhab imam Ahmed, so now he's bringing more details, inshallah, in regard to the zakat. He said, in the, madhab, in the madhab of Imam Ahmad rahimahullah, and likewise in the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i. The madhab of Imam Ahmad, and the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i. I'm stressing this out because I'm going to ask after inshallah. He say, يفرقون بين الزكاة الظاهرة والزكاة الباطنة. From the madhab of Imam Ahmad and the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i, they make the difference or they categorize the zakat, meaning the zakat that is called al zahira and the zakat that is called al batina. Amma barakallahu fikum, the zakat that is al zahira it is in regard to gold, silver, and the livestock. This is zahira. Tayyip, amma the zakat al batina it is in regard to yani, anything that is dealing with grain and yani, crops and the like. But the zahir it is dealing with anything from the naqd, from gold and silver, uh, and, the, and, and, and likewise the livestock. And this is what Imam, uh, Imam Shir Rabbi Hafizahullah is saying. He say, وَيَرَوْنَ أَنَّ زَكَاتُ الظَّاهِرَ لِوَلِيِ الْأَمْرِ So Imam Ahmed and Imam, Imam Ahmed, and likewise the mother of Imam Shafi'i, they see that the zakat that you can give to the Muslim ruler, it is the zakat that is zahira. It is the zakat that is zahira. But amma the zakat that is batina, mithlu zahabi, and the zakat that is batina, it is the like of gold and silver. He said, this is barakallahu fikum, what is to be yani, uh, given to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, and that could be barakallahu fikum, and yani not given to the ruler. But so he mentioned here, and likewise, wa, what is called urudu tijara, meaning anything that is yani, from buying and selling. Anything that enters in buying and selling. Naam. Not even buying, not bringing stuff like that. The no, the, 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 zahira, the zahira is the, the grain, the, the livestock, no, the grain and, and the like. But amma the batina, it is the naqd, meaning like the, the cash the gold and silver and the livestock this is what is called batina this is the zakat that is batina about no what did i say the, yes the zahira zahira is the grain the, the 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 livestock the cash huh? gold and silver the cash the gold and silver and the and the livestock but amma the zakat that is batina it is barakallah fikum anything dealing with what grains and crops and the like anything coming from the farm for instance from the wheat and the like the wheat and and, and these issues so therefore the madhab imam shafi and imam ahmed they see that the zakat is of two types zakat al zahira and the zakat at batina so he mentioned here that we are on the zakat al zahira li wali al amr so the zakat that is dealing with the zahira meaning Ahsanta, gold, silver, cash, and livestock, it could be given to the Muslim ruler. Tayyip. So he mentioned, and likewise, wa urudu tijara. Urudu tijara, meaning any.